hello everyone uh, in this video we will discuss about deadlock so far uh, we discussed about semaphores uh, uh, what are all the problems we actually faced under uh, process synchronization so which means if there is any inter process communication so if there are two process and the two process wants to access the common data otherwise if they want to communicate so which means through any temporary storage if they want to communicate so data can be sent or uh, received by uh, with one another which is nothing but the inter process communication so what are all the problems we faced under inter process communication we just discussed all those things and how we have uh, resolved all those problems with the help of the semaphore semaphore is nothing but the synchronization hardware tool which is used to solve any synchronization problem in the system so the next one uh, it is uh, nothing but the continuation of the process synchronization problem so if you have two process and the two process is actually waiting for one another which is nothing but the deadlock so whenever we get situation like if there are two process in the system so one process is actually waiting for another process so both the process is actually waiting for one another which is nothing but the deadlock situation that particular situation is nothing but deadlock so there are many resources that were available in the system but some particular resources could be uh, uh, used by only one process so all those resources can be used by only one process at a time simultaneously uh, if there are more than one process who wants to access the same resources which is not possible this is the restriction which we have by the operating system so uh, operating system has the ability to provide the permission for any of the process to uh, which means uh, any of the process has the exclusive access to all the resources or the particular resources so this is what if there is any exclusive access to one of the resources by the process at a time um so uh, which means it will lead to the deadlock situation suppose if you have the shareable resources which means simultaneously all the process can uh, um, use that particular resources shared resources so in that particular situation we will not get the deadlock so that is what so i will tell you what is the uh, deadlock and uh, what is the best example for deadlock so if you look at this there are actually two process the this one is the first process a and the next one is the process b so first process so it was actually requesting one of the devices so what is the actual task that it should do so which means the two process is trying to record a scanned document on your disk so whichever the input it needs it needs actually the scanned document first it has to get the document and it has to scan it so for that it needs the scanner device so process a initially requested the scanner device and process b initially requested the disk so both the devices has been allotted to this corresponding process so process a is requesting and this particular uh, device has been allotted to process a and process b is requesting disk initially and this device is also allotted to process b so what happens next the process a wants the disk so that it can record whatever the document it has actually scanned onto the disk so that is the actual task that could be done by these two process so initially it has the scanner so it has scanned the uh, document afterwards it has to record that particular document onto the disk which is nothing but it has to store that particular document onto this disk so but the disk is already allotted to the process b which we cannot uh, get the disk device by the process a so it is not possible to uh, uh, get this uh, disk so to use this disk is not possible by process a and afterwards process b is actually requesting the scanner because already it has the disk it has to store the scanned document into the uh, disk so it has to scan the document with the help of the scanner so it is requesting it but it is already given to process a so it is also not possible to provide the scanner to process b because it is not available so if you have only one number of uh, resources of this type we have only one scanner we have only one disk 
so what happens there in that particular situation it will leads to deadlock because the process a is actually waiting for the device disk um so which is already held by the process b and the process b is actually waiting for the scanner which is already held by the process a so this particular situation is said to be deadlock okay so this is the example so deadlock will not occur uh, only with the hardware resources it will also uh, we will get the deadlock with the software resources like if you want to access any uh, database right so one common database which we have and that could be accessed by any two number of process so what happens there so if you want to perform any read operation or write operation on that particular database so at the time if both the process performs that read operation so it it will not give you uh, much trouble right but one process is trying to write any uh, content newly into the database but while other process trying to read it so it will not read the correct database correct data right so this will leads you the problem so whenever you are trying to access any um, common data so there the operating system will provide only the exclusive access of that particular resource to more than one number of process so and also which means what simultaneously both the process cannot access that particular database so at the time only one process can access it other process has to wait either it has to wait or it has to block itself automatically right so this is the thing we have discussed under process synchronization problem and also we uh, have uh, explained about the classical process synchronization problem like dining philosopher as well as reader writer and produce a consumer problem so we have discussed all these things so if you don't have any shareable resources and uh, in case of unshareable resources if the process are trying to access any of the resources but at that particular uh, requesting time it is not receive receiving that particular resources right it cannot use that resources at the time of requesting it which is nothing but deadlock so in many cases if it is not recovered back again which is nothing but deadlock if it is actually waiting for any of the resources but it may get that resources after a long time is said to be the starvation so try to understand what is the difference between starvation and the deadlock starvation means the requesting resource it will get that resource at some point at some time it will get that resource but it doesn't know when it will get that resource so it has to wait for indefinite time so that is nothing but starvation but deadlock is it will never get that resource at all that is nothing but deadlock the situation is different from starvation so it will never get that so in the above example uh, this particular process a will never get that uh, scanner as well as this process b will never get the disk because both has been given already to the same process a and b so only thing it if it release that uh, old resources then it is trying to get the new resources then it is uh, it is possible to get it but but it will not release at all so once it gets the new resources second resources then only it will release the entire number of resources so this is nothing but deadlock okay so if you have more than one copies of the same resources if you have more than one copies of the same resources then we can avoid deadlock suppose if you have more than num uh, one number of scanner in the above example we can provide that uh, another scanner to the process a i mean process b so if you have more than one number of disk resources then we can provide the another disk to the process a so if you have more number of uh, resources of same type which is nothing but if you have multiple copies of the same resources or in other words we can say if you have more number of instances of same resource type then we can avoid deadlock but in some cases uh, i mean in all the systems we will be having a single resource type a uh, single instance or single copy of all the resource types so because if you are working with the multi processing environment so even though if you have lot of uh, uh, copies of same type so which is not enough to provide all the resources uh, uh, to the requesting processor so you will get the deadlock situation it, it some uh, it may happen in uh, in some situations right so next one the resources can be of two types so first one is preemptible resources and another one is a non preemptible resources 
so we know already what is the meaning of preemption and non preemption suppose preemptive process means once the process has been scheduled to cpu it will not uh, it will not uh, come out from the cpu until the completion of its execution right that is what non preemption once the process has been uh, scheduled to the cpu uh, in between the execution itself before completing its execution so we can uh, voluntarily release the particular uh, process from the cpu so that is what preemption so in the same way if you um, use this preemptible or non preemptible resources so what is the meaning of preemptible resources once the resources has been given to any process before using that resources or after using that resource but it is not completing its entire execution so it can uh, release that resources so even that process is not voluntarily releasing that resources operating system can take the resources back okay so without completing its entire operation so it can take the resources whatever it is allocated initially so that is what preemptible resources at any time it can take the take back the resources whatever it is allocated already to the process non preemptible means once the resources has been allocated to the process uh, we cannot get back that resources before the execution of that particular process so once it completes its execution then only the resources must be released from the process then only it will be allotted for any other process this is what non preemptible so if you are using the preemptible type of resources then we can say we can avoid deadlock uh, we can avoid deadlock uh, much more but if you use only the non preemptible resources then we can say obviously deadlock will occur in the system right so let us see one example so here also we have two process process a and process b so process a Uh, is actually requesting the resources uh, memory so memory is also one of the resource cpu time is also one of the resources right so process a is requesting memory and process b is requesting memory so both it is not providing these two resources to the i mean two process at a time so initially process a gets the memory and uh, after that it is actually requesting this printer it is actually requesting this printer printer is also been allocated to process a now what happens so uh, which means what is the task it is going to do which means it is going to print something uh, some data whatever it is fetched from the memory so uh, it is actually accessed that file so whichever the file it needs to print it uh, got that file from the memory and afterwards it is requesting printer also so it is granted and so it is uh, trying to print that uh, content of the file using this printer now before uh, completing this print operation this memory has been released from this process a this is possible because it is a preemptible resource it is a preemptible so the os can get this particular resource from the process a before completing its entire operation right and at the same time process b is requesting memory so it can be allotted to the process b because we have already released that resource from the uh, process a so it can be granted to process b and again it is actually requesting for the printer which means it is also going to print something whatever it is fetched from the memory but the printer is not possible to allotted for the process b because it is already given to process a it is already given to process a but what happens here we cannot say this particular situation will leads to deadlock because if the timer exits the preempt i mean um, whichever the resources are preempted so that that can be uh, released from the corresponding process right if even if the timer exceeds the particular preemptible resources will be released from the process so if the timer of this printer if it is a preemptible then if the timer exceeds mean the printer will also be released from the process a otherwise once it completes its operation so it will be released automatically from the process a so it has to release this resources once it used it right so after getting the printer from the process a obviously this printer is possible to allot to process b so this particular situation does not leads to deadlock it will not leads to deadlock because we may have the uh, we may get the chance of getting the resource whichever it is requested by the process b from the process a it is possible right 
So only thing because the resources are preempted, so it is not leads. Uh, it does not leads to the deadlock state. Suppose the resources whatever we are using is uh, non preemptible means then we can say it will leads to the deadlock. So finally, we will discuss what are all the sequence of uh, events. Sequence of events. Uh, that should be followed whenever the resource has been allocated to the process. So first one, the process will request any of the resource. That is what the first one is requesting the resource. Second one is use the resource and finally it has to release the resource. So it has to follow all these events sequentially. So if, if it does not follow these sequence of events and obviously it will lead to deadlock. So in order to avoid the deadlock occurrence, so each and every process has to follow these uh, um, events, I mean sequential events. Okay, so this is nothing about the introduction to deadlock and uh, how the resources are uh, used by the process. Thank you.